repair has to round up the rubble. It's just a mess. Bill dives into a muddy ditch to battle a bobcat. And there's 40,000 volts right overhead. I'm a little up right now. Bill and Joey go head to head in a battle of the bulge. He might call this cheating, but I call it winning. A semi gets jammed in a guardrail. Go up some more, I think it'll pop out. Bill brings out the big guns. While Joey's life is on the line. We have a mechanical failure, I'm dead. Chicago has more than 20,000 miles of highway full of breakdowns, spills, and wrecks. It's a dangerous mess, and somebody's got to clean it up. Bill runs O'Hare Towing with his wife Marcy, his brother Joey, a fleet of high-tech trucks, and a team of dedicated drivers who risk their lives every day, ready to respond at a moment's notice to the next Big wreck. Monday morning in Chicago. Thousands of commuters are heading to the office after the weekend. The high traffic volume makes this an especially dangerous time on the roads. It may be early, but the employees of O'Hare Towing are already hard at work. It's 7.30 in the morning, middle of rush hour. Operator Tony Monroe and his crew are called out at sunrise to clear a totaled motorhome on I-55. Instead of going left, he went right. He came in behind the guardrail. Looks like he hit the, hit the drain and he launched into the wall. The driver of the motorhome was speeding southbound on I-55 when he lost control of his vehicle and smashed into the embankment. The driver has been sent to the emergency room. And now Tony and Steve work fast to pull this cluttered mess out of the ditch. Traffic is already backed up for miles, so O'Hare is only allowed to close one lane. Now they're forced to do a winch out just inches away from oncoming cars. Line and wedged in tight, Tony takes advantage of his rotator and uses his boom to pull out the mangled mess. It's already totaled, so they're not concerned about damaging it any further. He attaches chains to the front axle and begins to winch it out. Watch yourself coming in. With each foot Tony winches the wreck, the entire body comes closer to collapsing. If the motorhome disintegrates any further, Tony will be left with a huge mess. So he uses recovery straps to secure the structure. All right, go all the way down to the freight rail. That's where I'm going. Hurry up, man. ticking and a mile-long backup of angry motorists, Tony rushes to get the wreck up onto the flatbed. I just went to the front axle, uh, ran two chains, and winched it out. Just kept pulling until it came. But the work here is far from finished. Debris from the motorhome stretches almost 40 yards. And, as with any recovery, the cleanup is O'Hare's responsibility. It's just a mess. It's time consuming, and you got a big pile of stuff to deal. We're gonna get the road open and get the rest of the debris out. That includes any debris that falls on the highway, even during the trip back to the O'Hare shop.
brother Joey are back at the shop. 315, 713. The Graziana brothers have an unusual relationship. Bill was 18 years old when his brother was born, and now he's Joey's boss. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't do that. So my father and I delivered Joey. In fact, I fondly say that it was the first time he had his ass kicked when I got to smack him. We have a very unique relationship because sometimes it's father-son, sometimes it's brother-brother, and sometimes it's boss and employee. Hello, boss. Today, Joey decided to take on Bill in a weight loss competition. So you're fully prepared to lose then? No, 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 no. You lost every other time. I know. This time is the winner. I feel the... I'm like 4-0 and all with you, Joe. I know. OK, what's the deal? We'll have a weigh-in. And whoever can lose the most... What's the wager? Wager is uh, you got to drive like an 84 Escort to and from work for a week. And uh, if it goes the other way, which I doubt it will, might be a pink tutu involved in Miller Mannheim. When he was born, I got to spank him to get him to cry, and I've been spanking him ever since. I don't think I've ever lost to Joe. Maybe I'm looking for the first time. All right, Doc. Make it official. Make it official. There it is. There. Taking him to the house. <laughs> Coming up, Joey and Bill kick off their diet war with a weigh-in. Oh, you got? You saying you got this? I totally have this. And later, the two brothers wedge their wrecker into a tight spot to winch out a bobcat. Can't get our full leverage because we are working with absolutely tiddlywinks. or something to that matter. Joey challenges brother Bill to a weight loss competition. Oh, yeah, he's Dunsky. He's got youth and uh, his metabolism on his side, so uh, 18 years older than him, so it's uh, it'll be a little bit harder for me, but I'll still be OK. I have no doubt. Now it's time for the big weigh-in. Big That's bad. Oh, you got, you're saying you got this? I totally have this. Get to work now. It's not what Joey doesn't know about. He might call this cheating, but I call it winning. I just lost 20 pounds already. <laughs> He's such an idiot. <laughs> he didn't even frisk me. You little cheater. You're bad. Seriously, are you two ever going to grow up? I hope not. I hope not. Let me know if I do. Bill could be content to sit behind a desk and play games with Joey all day. But that's just not his style. Hey, we're cutting that off. Just leave it. I still go out on toes because I really enjoy it. It's a way to manage the stress of what's going on. It still makes my loins tingle. And I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Hey, nose it up right here. Nose it up right here. I equate it to athletics, and I'm not a bench warmer. You know, I want to be in the game. Play me or trade me. This afternoon, a call comes in that's too tempting for Bill to pass up. Bill, I need you to go 10-8. Bill, 10-8, back of the house for a rolled over bobcat. 10-4, thank you. I drove my neighbor's bobcat into my hole as I was cleaning around the property. I got out of the hole, and I looked at the bobcat on its side. I, I knew it was a bad thing. The owner of the bobcat tried to use a front loader to tip the vehicle back over. I just see more damage happening. So I was like, dude, stop. Call me O'Hare. Bill heads out to the scene in his brother Joey's record. I don't see what the problem is. Thing up, what's? I don't either. <laughs> pick it up. Pick, pick the thing up. I can't seem to get clearance on that tree, which I need. When my boom goes out, I think I'm going to hit this tree. I'm a little right now. With no other option on where to place the wrecker, Bill starts prepping for recovery. 
Bill lays down the blocks of wood to support the outriggers so they don't sink into the muddy ground. Outriggers help stabilize a truck and keep it from tipping over. Without them, the weight of most loads would be too much for the wrecker to handle. First, we're going to try to upright it, and then we'll just raise it and pick it up out of the hole. Part of the problem is the power lines is going to be an issue. The power lines above carry 11,000 volts of live electricity. Any contact with the truck would mean disaster. Bill wraps heavy chains around the frame of the disabled bobcat, placing pieces of plywood between the chains and the bobcat's body so they don't damage it any further. Working solo in a slippery ditch is a dangerous proposition, so Bill brings in his brother Joey for the assist. Hey, Billy. I'm going to hook the chain on the bottom, and then I want you to set it back down. So let's run the control. How much pressure you got on the right line? Plug it back. Don't mess with it right now. Oh, my god. I want to throw a rock right in that puddle. These guys are getting so dirty down there. I am loving it. While Bill keeps a close eye on the Bobcat, Joey operates the hydraulic boom with a remote. Hey, give me a shackle, Joe. Coming down, watch your fingers. Coming out. You like it? Yeah, I do. I can read Bill's mind when I'm out here. He just can't train that. Coming up. Coming up on orange. They've got the bobcat flipped upright. Now they have to lift it out of the hole. But there's a hitch. We gotta redo the green if we wanna get out of the hole with it. Joey can't raise his boom any higher because of the power lines, so Bill has no choice but to shorten the recovery straps. We're running on a winch line. We can't get our full leverage because it's not like we can pick it up and go higher. We are working with absolutely tiddling rinks. Bill gets to work replacing the straps. Yeah, that's going to work, dude. Clears the hole and the high voltage power lines. We wanted the right operator on the truck because he, he was actually in a tight spot. And if you don't have a qualified guy up there, it just makes life so effing hard. And you're just like, this sucks. Sometimes it's easier when you get two guys that just work together, just make it happen. Mission accomplished. These guys are the best ones to call, man. These, they got the big truck. They know what they're doing. So much better. You give yourself a bigger wipe. I can't. <laughs> Joey weigh in to see who's the biggest loser. Right. Cheap. And later, when a semi gets jammed on a guardrail, Bill struggles to cut it loose while Joey takes the ultimate risk. I hate being underneath anything that's elevated above me. Exactly playing fair. I have reverted to uh, trickery and treachery. The moral of the story is, is, if, is if, if he gains weight, then I don't have to lose weight. That's up, man. There you go, Joe. Have fun. From the very beginning, Bill left nothing to chance. But what he didn't know is his little brother had the same idea. Pencil wrench. And this was just for show. Joey and I constantly screw with each other. I know my brother, he's gonna figure out something. Um, I think that goes to the relationship that's big brother, little brother kind of thing. The day of the weigh-in has 
has arrived. Joe! Call it in the air. Right? Tails. Tails? It's heads. That means you go first. I go first. <sighs> That's about right. Joey, 236.6. How much did he lose then? Yeah, he lost a lot. Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your shoes, honey. <laughs> Don't take the shirt off. Oh. <laughs> I'm totally out. <laughs> Get rid of it. Vision quest, baby. I'm so screwed. <laughs> no, that's it. 300.2. I, I think I need a calculator for this one. Are you ready? Bill lost 26.6 .6 pounds. Joey lost mm -hmm. 21.6. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Should be gone for wings last night, Joe. You know what? I'll trade it for wings. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. They were pretty good. <laughs> Joe, I'm kind of getting bored of winning all the time. I doubt it. I thought there would be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, no, the challenge is you cheated. I didn't See? cheat. Yeah, you did. We shook on it. Cheater. The fun and games come to an end when a call comes into O'Hare Dispatch. 903 North and Railroad, got a tractor trailer stuck on a guardrail. 10 8 so 903 North and Railroad. Joey and crew arrive on the scene to check out the mangled metal rail. This guardrail was put in like last week. The driver took a hard right turn rolled over the curb and caught the guardrail between the tires. Joey's plan is to pick up the rear of the trailer and hope that the guardrail falls out on its own. I pretty much want the hook. Almost right here, we'll stuff a block of wood in. As Joey attaches the chains to either side of the frame, Bill shows up to take over the scene. Where the hell did he come from? Working together with, with Joey. Coming around. The competition goes away and we go to the mentoring step. Make sure the brakes are set to the rolls, you got a problem, and then block those tractor wheels. He's going to be a marvelous operator in a few years. I've been doing it for a little bit longer. Just two more blocks at the back and shoot back wheels so it doesn't roll back on us. But right now, we're both very aware of each other's place in the pecking order and who's making the decisions on the wreck site. With the boom positioned over the rear of the trailer, Joey begins to raise his winch lines. Yeah, we gotta get this guardrail out between the wheels, otherwise we'll have it out here in the middle. Go up some more, I think it'll flop out. The guardrail is wedged in too tight, so it's time for plan B. Now Bill will have to go underneath the truck to cut the guardrail loose. He attacks the steel rail with a K-12 saw. A heavy-duty cutter with a carbide blade specially designed for emergency rescue operations. Guardrail is starting to give, but they don't have much daylight left. The team scrambles for a new solution. Coming up, Joey risks it all beneath 35,000 pounds of steel. Mechanical failure? I'm dead. A semi got tangled up in the guardrail on North Avenue and Railroad. The O'Hare crew managed to free the metal from the trailer's tires. But they need to move the rail so they can set the trailer back down. Bill's K-12 chop saw wasn't able to do the trick. 
As Joey's wrecker continues to suspend the 35,000 pound trailer, Bill decides to send Joey underneath to untangle the rail by hand. That was a very nerve wracking decision right there. I don't know what the hell Bill was thinking. He said push the guardrail back underneath it to clear the tires to set it down. I hate being underneath anything that's elevated above me. If we have a mechanical failure, I'm dead. The simple plan of moving the guardrail didn't work. So Bill decides to move the trailer instead. He sends Joey to man the controls on the record. Come in. Hey, look at your cable. Joey slowly rotates the rear of the trailer to the left and clears the guardrail. I was able to slide, rotate, shrink the boom in, and let the winch lines down and uh, clear the guardrail. Finally, they're able to get all the semi's wheels back on solid ground and clear the rail. The trailer's got a busted tire. Um, I think she's going to go creep up to the shoulder isn't done with the stubborn guardrail. By our civic duty, we have to make sure anything that is damaged in an accident is at least off of the roadway. You hit me in the face. Bill and younger brother Joey play rough, but when duty calls, these two know how to get it done, no matter what surprises lie in store. In our lives, everything is a race. So you get both of us together, it's like two animals button heads. In the end, we work really well together. Under recovery, I wouldn't work with anybody else. Hey, go! You can't hide! Get yourself cleaned up. Today's the day. Bill, okay, I'll Carolina. give it a shot. You look good. I think that needs to be shorter. <laughs> you can do it now. <laughs> <laughs> 